Hi, today we're going to be talking about six things you just need to stop believing in in LEGO Fortnite. Let's call them six myths that you need to stop like listening to online. And I know I'm going to be getting a lot of uh, like flag from the Lego Fortnite community because some of mine uh, myths here uh, might be quite opinionated some of them is uh, what I think and you are welcome to leave a comment below if you think I am wrong especially the first one I have on my list is something that a lot of people will disagree with so my first thing is villagers I have just went to a village here, placed a village here, villagers like snowcap here, all villagers have equal rarity and <laughs> there is so much content out there. I found the most rare and legendary villager and so on uh, uh, online and in my like experience and everything, every official resource that's out there, there is no hint to there being any rarity combined with uh, villagers and i know there's a lot of people who will disagree with me on this one see blackheart or bob or uh, what they all are called or or uh, the snow peely and all of these villagers are not more rare than any of the other villagers in the grasslands see what separates the villagers are what biome they are belonging to if you have a, I just placed this Frostlands biome here, uh, just a new one. I have a, a completely uh, level 10 up in this place here. See, I in my other Frostlands biome, I had Snow Peely and I had all of these uh, frozen Frischick. Uh, they just come to visit you over time. It's random. Yeah, there might be something com uh, combined with who is the first one to v visit your village. This feels like for everyone that there is something combined with these because you start in the grasslands and you tend to spend a lot of time in the grasslands. And the villages you find in the snow biome, in the dry village and in the sh shore biome are not the same villages that will visit your village in the uh, grasslands as they are in the other one. I'll just r leave the frost biome here because I don't really have uh, brought any burgers or anything to, uh, to keep my warmth here. My first thing here is something I really believe that we should start addressing is everyone believes that there is a difference in rarity in villages, whereas there is no official documentation or no anything from Lego Fortnite remind anything closely reminding to that this should be the truth no but e every villagers are biome dependent and this also leads me to the next uh, to the next thing on my list list thing number two and to explain that better i need to get closer to my main village maybe this video should have been titled six unpopular opinions about lego fortnite that i have before continuing i just, just wanted to say like welcome to the channel i make lego fortnite content only and if this is something for you then consider subscribing hopefully i will see you in the future comments now let's get on with the video the, there is no such evidence and this one is going getting very unpopular there is no such evidence that any of the villagers are better at something than others and there's a lot of anecdotes saying that tomato head and beef boss are just the best cooks out there and i think this is based on confirmation bias is because you want them to be because i have a beef boss here uh, working on uh, making metal for me and no he is actually gathering uh, gathering resources which he's just as good as as anyone else and i have tomato head if i can find him uh, here i think he is working on the metal a smelter and he does copper a full stack uh, right, only 16 this time uh, sometimes uh, 30 and before the update it was a lot more but every time there's a random thing combined with how much output you get and there's also a very very like 
do you have enough of the metal smelters do you have more than one workbench do you have uh, enough workstations for the characters to work on are the, it's easy are they easy accessible the workstations and then the loot they get from the nearby resources are depending on which biome they're in and some say bright bomber is so uh, bad at cooking or some else in my village over here i have a raptor as a cook and i even had meow schools as a cook and so on there is no not even a single evidence or anything related to it that these villagers have any difference in their output and i know all of you want there to be and it's fine and you can also put them on their uh, designated job depending on what you want them to do but either if i put the uh, rowan who says she is a horse girl or if i put hazy to make food or if i have raptor to make food the out is completely different raptor would also get me a lot of pizzas if that's what i want um, so there is no such thing as one villager being better at one thing than another i'm sorry to say but i also think that the comments will get mad at me and number three is also like an unpopular opinion see i uh, love the lego fortnite community i i binge watch a lot of the content coming out and i really love that there are more people adding content to lego fortnite actually i benefit personally when every one of the bigger channels uploads something and if, if everyone else on youtube uploads something that's popular if i can see it in my stats because i get recommended next to those channels uh, whether it being the biggest or the second biggest or some every time they publish i enjoy it my channel enjoyed i get more views uh, so i don't consider our channels being competition in, uh, in on youtube i actually think it's more like collaborators because we are growing lego fortnite community maybe i'm not because i'm one of the smallest channels but they are growing lego fortnite as a community and every time they upload more people get to lego fortnite and the more who get to lego fortnite the more views i can get and the more they upload the more people will create content so it's a like a positive spiral that being said i have a problem with leaks content and uh, not that it's it i have a problem with the creators because i really enjoy a lot of the create and one of my some like two of my most favorite creators in lego fortnite also makes leak content i do just do have a problem with i think it might hurt the community more than it benefits the community because what i've seen from especially the first one with the so-called rifts update and so on um it it tends to get people false hopes and it tends to get their hopes up for something that's not coming into the game so you're setting expectations up here and then the game decides to do something else because i do believe that the leagues are based in somewhat uh, tr the truth but you, you, there's a lot of stories about um, people who were angry that they were promised something because they are maybe not used to these leaks update on online so they are not uh, used to the fact that leaks are not the like def defining truth they are just based upon uh, maybe a data miners or something taking uh, extracting data from future updates and seeing what's being added and then trying to determine what's what's in the next update it, it is harmless besides the fact that it might actually um, lower the enjoyment from each update because people you're setting when you set an expectation it's just like branding if you set the expectation here but only deliver here then people get mad mad and, and sad and angry and so on but if you don't have any expectations and then you keep over delivering then the game will thrive more so that's maybe just my opinion on why leaks could actually hurt this community more than it could benefit the community number four is something that i see a lot because 
um, I tend to be very vocal about I want the caves to respawn because I don't think there is any reasoning behind that we have to travel further and further away to get our looped loot and as you can see uh, maybe it's not possible to see on the screen here I'll try and go up higher and um, this is not only cave loot but this is everything in the game but as you can see when I get up to the top here there is no granite inside in all of my world i've also emptied this cave and i emptied this cave and i've emptied all of cave in this desert biome being next to the here and there is an, a rumor that cave loot will respawn if you don't build anything in the cave or near the cave i'm sorry to say i've tested it all the time in my world i've tested with several different caves and i even waited 10 days and 10 in-game days and so on Cave loot will not respawn and that is a rumor that's just not true yet. So this is also something that's truth and now hopefully they will fix this in the next update or in the coming next updates, hopefully. So right now that's not true so please leave a comment if they fixed it when you see this video. Thank you. And then there's something something that I, I, I thought was a really uh, a funny thing like number five on my list. Uh, I know this is not true, but it could have been fun if it was true. Um, I did a walk around the entire map in my world. It took six or seven hours to get all the way, like circled around all the way in my map. Oh, ah! Um, like I wanted it to get all the way around, so I followed the coast all the way around my map. It took six or seven hours. And then uh, I got a comment while doing this saying that maybe uh, all the seeds are actually the same map because it's so gigantic. But you just spawn a different location on the map. See that is uh, confirmed to be not true because some of the seeds and some of the maps have been traversed almost from end to end and there is a clear distinct difference in uh, people have some some of them have like stitched together the map and you can see it is different number six on my list is something that i see a lot in my in like and many of the gamers who get to lego fortnite just as a game they have to complete and then they leave and try something else these are variety streamers or sorry variety gaming content creators they are like making content about when they beat uh, the final brute, they call it the snow brute, then they beat Lego Fortnite. I just want to say brutes are not bosses. They're just ordinary mobs that you can kill and farm for the loot. And uh, brutes, especially especially the frost biome brutes, it's just you need the frost scale in order to build some of the charms. I think actually I have some of these charms in here something that you just need to continue on with the game so they are not bosses at all if you found any of my tips here if you agree with anything or disagree with anything then please leave a comment you can like if you agree and uh, leave a dislike if you don't agree or please if you leave a dislike leave a comment below on why you did it hopefully you get something out of this content i'll see you in the future thank you so much for watching